Hey, this is Victor with HTC One Soft Modder. In today's tutorial, we'll be doing the opposite of what we did in our previous tutorial, which was converting the carrier HTC One to a Google Play edition. We won't install the RUU for the carrier ROM, but we will unlock the bootloader, install a custom recovery, and root. You'll need to set up the Android SDK. You only need the ADB and fast boot parts, so if you can get those without downloading the whole thing, that's better. But if you have any issues, most likely you need to get the latest Google USB driver. To start reboot into the bootloader, you can do that by pressing and holding power and volume down on your phone until it reboots into the bootloader. Or you can just go on a command prompt and type ADB reboot bootloader. If you rebooted manually, you'll have to you'll have to boot into fastboot by highlighting it using the volume keys and then pressing power. If you use the command prompt, it'll do it automatically. Then you need to unlock the bootloader. This is a lot easier than the sense ROM because all you need to do is fastboot. OEM unlock. You don't need to use HTC dev or anything like that. When you type the command, you'll get a prompt on your phone asking you if you're sure you want to unlock. Just press volume up to select yes and press power. You'll get this message saying it failed, but that doesn't mean that the unlock failed. That just means it doesn't know what the status is because the phone turned off. While I'm waiting for this to boot, you should back up your files before you go through this tutorial because it will wipe everything except for your internal storage. And if you're not going to install a custom ROM, you should take this time to pause and set up your Google accounts and everything like that. I'm going to assume you already did that and I'm going to skip all of that. So if you're following along with me, you can take your time and pause. If you're going to keep this stock ROM and you just want to be rooted, you'll at least need to set set up a data connection or Wi-Fi password. Other than that, you can skip. And once you're booted into the Android OS, just go to settings, then about phone, and tap the build number seven times. This will enable the developer options at the bottom of your settings. So go in there and enable USB debugging. Your phone will ask if you want to allow it to be controlled by that computer. And I, I'm just going to click always allow. Now you can check if that works by typing ADB devices. You'll have the ID of the phone and it'll say device here. If it says offline, you have an issue with the Google USB driver, so make sure to update that. And then once that's done, you can move on to installing a custom recovery. I downloaded the latest Team Win recovery project and renamed it TWRP because I don't want to have to type the whole file name. Anyway, type the same reboot bootloader command. And if you're not already there, navigate to the directory where your recovery file is. 
mine is in my SDK tools because I moved it there. If it was in downloads, I could just say change directory C colon backslash users backslash Victor backslash downloads and it would be there. So I'm going to change back to SDK tools and then the command is fast boot flash recovery and then the file name. That's it. Then from there, you just go on your phone, go back into the bootloader by pressing power since the bootloader is already highlighted. And then press volume down to highlight recovery and press power again. If you don't see the Team Win Recovery Project, that means it failed. So just go back and repeat these steps. But if you're in there, just tap Reboot System, and it'll tell you that you're not rooted. So swipe to confirm, and it'll install the super user for you so you can be rooted. Now you can move on to either installing a custom ROM or even flashing an RUU. Since the last soft monitor tutorial, we learned that you don't really need to change the MID if you have a different phone. It's only the CID that matters, so if you change that to the appropriate one, you should be able to install an RUU for a different phone, such as a developer edition. Now, if you're going to stick with this stock ROM, once you boot into the OS, it will give you a notification saying you're not done yet. You have to install the SuperSU file, the app. So tap that notification, and then you can either download it from the Google Play Store, but it's easier to just do it through the recovery. So tap TWRP, and it will download it and flash it for you. If you want to install a ROM, whether it's a Sense ROM or stock Android, you can do that the same way we've been doing it for the Carrier Edition, and it'll be exactly the same. You can do pretty much everything except you can get over-the-air updates if you mess with the recovery. So if you want to do that, just remember to flash the RUU for the stock Google Edition ROM again. That's pretty much it. Make sure to like, subscribe our, our, to our channel. And if you have any questions, check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Modder, and you'll find the download links there as well.